Well, Lacey, today on the show, we're looking at the Model T Ford. But why the Model T? Because it's the 100th anniversary of the Model T Ford. It was introduced in 1908, went to 1927. And the thing about the Model T, and a lot of people might know this, but it heralded the beginning of the mass production age. Henry Ford introduced mass production, and that's what this car represents. They produced 15 million of them between 1908 and 1927. And the first vehicle to surpass them was actually the Volkswagen Beetle. And that didn't happen until 1972. The funny thing is, you might remember that saying, Henry Ford, he said you can have a Model T in any color you want so long as it's black. And he chose black because it was the paint that cured the fastest, obviously simplifying production. That was his whole theory. Now, he did sell other colors as years went on, but of the 15 million that were sold, 12 million of them were black. So we've got a really unique one here, it's red. The other thing that Henry Ford did is he built that whole idea of having a platform and making any car off it that you liked. He offered coupes and sedans and pickup trucks. The Model T started mass production. We're gonna fast forward 100 years. This is Ford's very latest vehicle, the Ford Flex. So Zach and I are gonna do a little bit of a comparison and see how much has changed over the past 100 years in the automobile industry. The Ford Flex really surprised us when we had a chance to drive it earlier this season. It has a sophisticated ride, ample interior space, and a level of finish on the inside that we have never seen from Ford before. The Flex is powered by a 3.5 liter V6 with 262 horsepower, which is pretty good around town. The Flex is all about cruising, and it looks like a beach cruiser too. The price of a new Flex will set you back just under $35,000 and is a wonderful replacement for a full-size V8-powered SUV or a less-than-cool minivan. The retro, yet totally unique styling, is something Henry Ford might never have been able to imagine. The Flex was recently awarded the best new SUV crossover between $35,000 and $60,000 from the Automobile Journalists Association of Canada. Okay, Zach, come on, get my car started. Well, the early Model Ts didn't have a starter. Later on, they developed an electric starter. And even on those cars, it was optional. So what you had to do was turn the crank. Have I got it right? And there you go, lady. Your car is ready. No power steering, no power brakes, no air conditioning, no radio, no side mirrors. I think we're just a little bit spoiled in today's age. A little bit of gas. And away we go. Now we're in low gear. Now what we do, we can put a little bit of gas here and release and we're in high gear. Whoa. <laughs> okay, scratch that. I just found out there actually is air conditioning. The front window opens. Okay, first of all, there's no gas pedal. The gas pedal is actually this little toggle here. There's no power steering. You actually have to be moving in order to turn the steering wheel. There's no seat belts. It's a wooden frame vehicle. Well, I feel like I'm doing damage to this thing. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, Zach, this is what I pulled out of the glove box for the new Ford Flex. The nav system, the sync system, the owner's manual. <laughs> This is what you got with the Model T. A little booklet here, and this is your fuel gauge. You actually dip this in the tank to see how much fuel you've got. I'm just gonna read you a line here. In the flush of enthusiasm, just after receiving your car, remember, the new machine should have better care until she finds herself. Sounds like a girlfriend I had. There you go. Amazing the way times have changed. Absolutely amazing. Now, you gonna stick with new? You know what, Zach, I hate to admit it, this car is really fun and simple, but I'm spoiled. I'm going to stick with the complications of the new vehicles. 